All right, I got uh, another work order for some package units not cooling. Uh, space is about 76 degrees right now. Both of these units take care of that space, so it seems like this one is doing something. And let's see. But, uh, now it's starting to rain. That's perfect. And carrier. No action. Alright. Got some tools. Let's check it out. Alright, since this one was the one working, I pulled the return cover off. We got ourselves a little rain delay here, so uh, we'll be back after this stops. All right, kind of let up here and uh, took the panel off again. Checking for voltage. I've got looks like no incoming voltage. I've got uh, nothing to ground on any of these legs. So I've got the disconnect off. Uh, I guess we'll just check the fuses. Bolts. Um, it doesn't look like this controls the starter. We've got 120 volt coil, but nothing on that. So, if I get across that, nope. be a switch somewhere for uh, another control relay or something. So. Alright, I gotta take a walk and uh, let me just make sure we got power here. Alright, let's go into getting here. Yep, we got 477. Three, two and three. Yeah, so we got high voltage here. And we got good fuses. I 
it's not getting through there. So uh, let me go see where this goes. All right, so I went in search of that control wire. Uh, no luck. Uh, it could be in a totally opposite building. I know that you do something funny with their energy management controls. Um, so I did the right thing and I just bypassed that for now while I'm working on the other unit and we'll see if this gets them some air and I'll just come back to this uh, at a later time. Let's see. Yeah, that's typical carrier. Come on, shut off. Let's let this, uh, it's probably timing out here. All right, well, that's fantastic. We have lost a phase. Here, but we've apparently it's this one blown a fuse. So, yeah, it's great. I think we're just going to abandon this for a little bit and go take a look at that train. Alright, so I didn't give up. I just uh, put another fuse in it. Process of elimination. Looks like this compressor has already been condemned. And uh, the best circuit's flat out of gas. So we might be looking at a new uh, package unit here because I disconnected this compressor and uh, didn't load a fuse again. Uh, I have a condenser fan motor stuck on. This relay is contacts I think are welded there. These are normally open contacts. I've got new signal coming in here. Because um, I even lifted 24 volts so we wouldn't be powering anything when I was troubleshooting. There's nothing there, but definitely if I uh, pull that wire off. And stops. Back on. So the other fans uh, just waiting for a signal to come on. But uh, I think we got bigger issues here. So uh, blower does work. It wasn't bad. Definitely needs a belt. All right. So we got. This is 410A, uh, a little over 200 pounds of standing pressure. All our ice is gone. So I'm going to go over the spots that look like could be doing something. These are all micro channel coils. My favorite. over there. I got oil on there. So I guess we're going to be getting a coil. Alright, let's just take a look at the condenser. Don't see any oil stains on that. Just the shadow. Just for giggles. Usually these are pretty evident. They'll have uh, spots on them like the evaporator. Uh, Alright, so we're at least getting the evaporator. I'm gonna just put some gas in it for now so they got some air as a 
carrier. It's got issues. I'm going to go back to that a little bit here. Check that out. Let me charge this up for him. Let's start it up and see what we're running. All right, so we came on. We got a 55 on the left side. I found the Gremlin and it was the other condenser fan motor. Um, you see I got the meter hooked up, common and run, I've got no ohms. And uh, check out the start. And to start, nothing. And, uh, Run still. Uh, so I'm going to uh, power this back on and let's see what happens here. And this capacitor is different because the other motor has been replaced before. It takes a seven and a half. The factory one was ten. So I've got my 24 volt signal pulled there, so. Every time I was uh, energizing that before, we would blow a fuse, so let's see. The compressor runs. So as that motor was shorted, and that's what kept blowing the fuses. So even though it didn't show to ground and it's open, it just she was uh, dead short in there. So, all right, I'm gonna button this up and at least I found the source of that. We'll get them some air back in there. Oh yeah, I've got to uh, put a new belt on there and adjust that. All right, so we get that sorted out. Um, I went ahead and I had a 9380 relay. So I just hooked up the one contact for that condenser fan motor that's still good. And uh, mounted the capacitor for it. So I'm gonna get a new condenser fan motor for the one that's burned out. And our circuit one compressor is disconnected right now. That circuit is fired out of gas. So, I'm gonna have to determine if they wanna replace the coil or possibly replace the unit at this point because uh, it's starting to get some age on it. And um, well, that's that. So let's see, I uh, reconnected everything here. I said it was working fine yesterday, and then uh, all of a sudden it just shut off. For now, we got air, so the train working and charged up, and half of this going. So we got uh, went from no air conditioning to one and a half. So, all right, that wraps up this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you give me a thumbs down, I'll never know because it doesn't show. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna go do some more work. And there's our supplier temp on this one, 61.3. So, well, I don't think they'll be sweating at that. But, uh, the train already cycled off. There, so this one will be right behind it, I'm sure. All right, thanks for watching.